Uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramon Thomas from South Africa. I'm starting a new video series to comment on city branding, uh, place branding, and from time to time nation branding. I haven't seen any regular uh, YouTube channels uh, on this topic, um, so I'm going to start one. And I'm starting with um, a country and a place that I know very well, which is uh, South Africa or officially known as the Republic of South Africa, where I'm from. Um, for the last two years, I was working as the country manager for Brand South Africa in China. I was based in Beijing, and the work I did was um, supporting the embassy um, in Beijing, the consulate in Shanghai and Hong Kong, working with um, other stakeholders like South, Africa, South African tourism, as well as with uh, Chinese media and stakeholders to promote the nation brand of South Africa. So what is nation branding? Um, nation branding is a concept that's been developed by Simon Annalt and uh, the way that it's measured is through something called the nation brand index that he has also developed in conjunction with GFK. Uh, so it looks at seven areas which is governance, exports, tourism, investment and immigration culture and heritage and people. So regarding governance, um, they look at public opinion about the national government, competency and fairness, as well as its perceived commitment to global issues. Around exports, it's about the public's image of products and services from each country. Um, around tourism, the levels of interest in visiting a country and the draw of natural and man-made tourist attractions. Investment in immigration speaks to the power to attract people to live, work and study in each country and how people perceive the country's quality of life and business environment. Uh, global perceptions of uh, culture and heritage um, discusses global perceptions of each nation's heritage and appreciation for its contemporary culture. And people um, looks at the population's reputation for competence, openness and friendliness and other qualities such as tolerance. So since I worked for um, this government agency, Brand South Africa, I do believe I have some qualification to comment on South Africa's nation brand, but I'm gonna give you just the current um, state of that according to the 2017 Annalt GFK Nation Brand Index. So there's a headline um, that reads, um, South Africa's ranking dropped by three points from 35 to 38 out of 50 nations overall. And I'm just going to give you some of the highlights here before I give you my comment on the current situation. Uh, while, South, while the country, well, while South Africa's ranking slides back three positions, it's important to note that in terms of statistical score, we see an improvement of 0 0.73 in comparison to last year's results. Furthermore, the statistical scores in each of the six pillars also improves with the strongest upward movement in people, immigration and investment and governance pillars. Brand South Africa's G GM of Research, Dr. Beatrice de Kock, presented the details of the findings at a recent South Africa Competitiveness Forum, uh, which was a consultative platform with um, multinational state-owned entities and exporters to discuss how to position the nation brand. The CEO, Dr. Kingsley Makubela, said from 2017 uh, Nation Brand Index, it becomes apparent that there's no shortcuts to the development of a reputable global reputation. There are two dimensions to this. Firstly, by spending on pure marketing, which will enhance a country's reputation. And secondly, a country's contribution to the global arena and how this is received and perceived by audiences is a determining factor in shaping a nation brand reputation. The results also indicate that South Africans have a strong positive self-perception, placing the home country 19th overall, 6th for culture, 7th for tourism and 4th for people. While the self-perception of the nation brand is relatively healthy, with some exception of governance, it is interesting to observe which nations rank South Africa 
better and worse with the previous year. In this regard, nations such as Japan, South Korea and Turkey, and to a lesser degree Egypt, have relatively negative perceptions of South Africa. South Africa is notably strong in India, Germany, France and the UK, um, although the following countries have varied perceptions of South Africa across the pillars. Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Italy and Sweden show a general positive disposition towards the country. However, governance and perception of investment in immigration environments are areas which call for much improvement, added Dr. Makubela. Anyway, so after um, the recent announcement of um, President Cyril Ramaphosa um, of this uh, investment conference that's taking place uh, in August in South Africa to attract investment, um, he also appointed um, Pumzela Langeni to uh, as a special economic advisor. Now, I think one of the important things here is that um, the new president of South Africa, um, as the CEO of the country, in a sense, recognizes the importance of South Africa's international reputation in terms of attracting investment and talent, etc., etc. Now, the point that I want to really get into is um, a discussion that I had about a year ago uh, in Beijing where, uh, at a conference about Ayn Rand. Um, so just a slight detour, Ayn Rand is a author um, who wrote a couple of books and developed a philosophy called objectivism. And at this conference I met um, Dr. Yaron Brook, who is the chairman of the Ayn Rand Institute in California. Anyway, I had a discussion with him um, and a, a Chinese investor from Shanghai who had also visited um, Beijing to attend uh, these events. And we talked about a special project that could tremendously enhance South Africa's global reputation, not just amongst tourists, but investors and uh, uh, across all aspects of this uh, nation brand index. I think it could make an impact. She was suggesting um, that one of the most negative aspects of South Africa's reputation is um, the issue of crime, violent crime and uh, uh, people being murdered, especially tourists and visitors to the country. And that a project that is conceived around um, artificial intelligence and sort of using technology to uh, identify criminals uh, through CCTV cameras, um, etc., etc. I, I think there's something like that being rolled out in China anyway, um, using facial recognition technology, and that her company provides such technology and could consult on that. And it, it struck me that. Um, telling the residents or the citizens of South Africa as well as the media and broadcasting this message that South Africa takes crime seriously and that there is a concerted effort to reduce crime to improve um, the security and safety of uh, residents, of citizens and visitors to the country, to include that as part of the marketing message could go a long way to changing the perceptions that people have, especially people who have never visited South Africa, because they are afraid of the stories that they've heard. Another Chinese businessman had previously told me that um, a friend of his traveled to South Africa on a two-week business trip, and for the whole two weeks, he was so paranoid that he hired a private bodyguard um, to go with him everywhere. So these perceptions are reality, and no matter what... Um, people in the government say, um, no matter what uh, we might think um, as uh, citizens of this country, of uh, the beautiful land that we live in, and that we might be safe. But, um, you know, there are endless stories of crime, violent crime and murders that um, has occurred in South Africa. Um, there's been tourists that have been raped and various other uh, criminal offences. So, just going back to the central idea that I want to propose here is that to really impact the nation brand from the ground level up, taking on a project to use facial recognition, artificial intelligence to identify criminals and to improve prosecution of those criminals and to communicate the, uh, you know, this uh, new strategy 
through the media, through stakeholders, especially to the international audience, to show how seriously South Africa takes this uh, crime issue will do wonders for the nation brand. And anyway, that's my idea. That's the first comment and first video I'm making on, on South Africa's place branding position. I'll talk more about uh, different cities uh, in South Africa, um, in um, the Middle East, where I have spent some time before, as well as in China. Um, I may talk about other cities from time to time, but um, uh, yeah, I hope you like this. And if you have some interest in nation branding and uh, city branding, um, follow the links that I'm going to share with you um, in the description. And um, yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.